Hi, my name is Rachel from the Marks Group Live, and I'm here today to teach you about workflow organization um, and how to create a basic workflow in, Zo in Zoho CRM based on a date or time. Um, please feel free, if you have any questions after this uh, video, to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. One of our trainers will get back to you ASAP and answer all of your questions. You can also uh, feel free to rate this video after it's over, uh, and that will help other users find us. It will also help us really improve our video library, so we're giving you the best quality Zoho training. Okay, so today in class what we're going to go over is um, how you can organize your workflows. How do you create a workflow that's based on a specific date or time? Um, and why might you create a workflow that's based on a score change? So, if you are new to workflows, you've never seen them before, please check out our other workflow video. Um, I go into a little bit of the reasonings behind why, why you might want to create a workflow in Zoho. And um, how Zoho uses the term workflow a little bit differently than, you know, workflow out in the wild. Um, so how you get to workflows is you go ahead and click on this uh, icon up in the corner that is the uh, wrench and screwdriver. This will take you to setup. And workflow rules live right here in the automation section. So the first thing we're going to go over is organization of our workflows. So here is a list of all of the workflows that are created for your um, Zoho users. Right now we only have two, but you know, you could have 10, 15, 20, depending on how much you want to automate. The first thing I'm going to go over is the status. Um, these little, you know, toggle buttons, you can make workflows inactive or active, which means that if they're inactive, they obviously won't automate and fire off. I think that this is a really great um, idea versus just deleting a workflow because if you delete it, um, it doesn't show up in your recycle bin. If you delete it, it it's gone. Um, so if you don't want a specific workflow to automate at this time, you can just click um, and it will uh, it will not uh, fire off. If you have a workflow that has a scheduled um, a scheduled action for X amount of time after um, the workflow is created, you're gonna get this, um, this pop-up right here. And what this is asking you is, do you wanna delete the scheduled actions or do you wanna keep them but just don't automate it after that particular um, action is run? So you can choose whatever's best for you. I'm gonna keep this, uh, keep this active for this time. Um, the rule name, obviously, it's the name of the rule. If you hover over it, it will give you the description and who created it and when. This will tell you the module it's about. It will tell you when it will be executed. This particular rule is executed when you create something new, create a new record. It will go over the different actions. And then it will tell you when it was last modified. If you hover over it, it will tell you who modified it last to. So that can be helpful if there are multiple people that are working on a rule. You can always search here um, if you have many rules. Uh, maybe the welcome. I want to see what the welcome email rule. You can also funnel here which, uh, which modules, what workflows are associated with which modules. So that's just your organization page of your workflow rules. But we're going to go ahead right now and create a new rule that is based on a specific date or time. So I'm going to choose my module today. I'm going to choose this as a contact module. And this is going to be the birthday email rule. So what this rule is, is a happy birthday email oh my goodness i cannot type and talk will be sent to a client on their birthday oh my goodness i'm incapable of typing today 
I do know how to spell there, there, and there, but we charge along. I'm going to go ahead and press next, and it will take me to the creating of this rule. So we are executing this rule on a specific date or time. This rule is that date and time is a client's birthday. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So this will give me a few options here. Do we want to execute this a day after this particular thing was created? Do we want this to reoccur? I'm going to specify the time of this execution. And I'm going to say that this is going to be executed on a date of birth. It's going to be zero days after the date of birth. And I'm going to have this execute at 9 a.m. Now you can have this reoccur once, you can have it re reoccur monthly, you can have it reoccur every year. Because this is specified on a date of birth, I'm going to have this reoccur every year on the person's date of birth. We're going to have an email go out saying happy birthday from Mark's group live. So that's when this is going to be executed. Another thing you can have this execute on a specific date or time is maybe the first day of every month, if you have someone, you know, you want to send out an email that reminds for like a reorder of a product, you can do that. Um, maybe you want to send, you know, something to automate every Tuesday at 4 p.m. You have a company meeting and you want a task to be created, a reminder to be created. You can, you can automate that. But for today, we are doing a birthday email to be sent out on a client's date of birth at 9 a.m. every year. So we can choose, as we talked about in the last um, video, specific conditions for this, um, for this rule to be fired off. Um, I'm going to have this fired off to all contacts, but, um, you know, you can pick and choose who and what you want this to be uh, before. So we're going to create an instant action for this. We're just going to create one, and it's going to be an email notification. So I will call this the birthday email. So we're going to talk a little bit about how you can set up an email template here. Um, the first thing we're going to do is choose where we're pulling this email address from, and it's from the contact module and the email field. So I'll click and add that. You can add additional recipients if they're not in the CRM. You can just type in their email addresses here. And then you can select a template. So we don't have any templates here in our, um, in our uh, contacts module. So I'm gonna go ahead and create an email here. This is gonna take me to Zoho Writer. We go over Zoho Writer in a little more um, detail, but I will select a blank document. I will call this our birthday email, and I will say, dear, and then what you can do, this is a nice little piece of information on Zoho Writer. We go over mail merge in more detail in other videos, um, but you are able to add in this person's name using merge from the field of the record, the field in the record. So I'm going to put first name, let's see here. So we get this funny little like dollar sign, contacts, first name. What this means is when that email will be sent out, it will pull the first name from the contacts field. So it will say like, Dear Jim, makes it a nice little personalized touch that you don't have to then worry about because you're automating this. Happy birthday. Thank you for being a great customer. Yours. I mean, obviously you can format this a little nicer. Again, we go over all of this when we talk about templates and Zoho Writer. 
but I'll go ahead and save that. Oh, the subject can't be empty. Forgot the subject. Happy birthday to you. So this is the subject that will show up in the email. Go ahead and save. We can choose which folder we want this to be sent saved to. I'll save it to the public email folder. Check it out here. Here it is. So that's the email that's going to go out. I will go ahead and save and associate this. And then there we go. There are no other actions I'm going to create with this particular workflow. It's easy and simple. On someone's birthday, an email is going to go out. We do go over scheduled actions in our other uh, video, so you can check that out to learn more about that. I will save it. So there we go. The birthday email rule has been saved. I'm not going to be able to show you how this is fired off because it will, um, if I created a new contact whose birthday was today, um, it won't fire until 9 a.m. Um, so you won't be able to see that. But for all intents and purposes, an email will be sent out to any contacts when on their birthday. So the other thing I want to go over quickly is creating a um, new rule or why you might create a workflow rule that's based on a score. So we have this based on a score option here, um, but this option is only available when you are creating a workflow in a module that has the score options. And that's really only the contacts or the leads um, as far as out-of-the-box modules. There might be other modules that have this score, um, but why you might do this is if the score on the module increases or de decreases or changes in any way is updated, Maybe you want to create a task that will, you know, have you reach out to that client, check in on that client, send an email to that client. Um, and, you know, the, these scores are um, coded and automated by Zoho. Um, so essentially a score will change if uh, you have a lot of contact with a client depending on what their revenue is, depending on, um, you know, if you are doing business with them, the score might increase or decrease. Um, and that's to automate something is uh, based on score really just um, allows you to, to keep track of, uh, you know, how you are interacting with that client. I really recommend um, automating tasks to reach out or automating changes in fields. Um, based on a score. You're really gonna do the bulk of your work for workflows, creating it on a record action or on a date and time. But score is, is a helpful tool. So that is it for um, today. You can organize your workflows from the main workflow automation page. You know, you can click the status um, with the green toggle. Um, you can create a workflow that's based on a specific date or time. That means at a specific day, on a specific time of day, a specific day of the year, you will have that workflow automate, just like our birthday email. Um, and again, you might create a workflow based on a score change to remind you to reach out to a client or interact in a, with a client in a different way so you can capitalize on um, you know, their business. So thank you very much for checking us out today. If you have any other questions, please feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Uh, again, one of our trainers will get back to you. And uh, check out our archive of all of our videos for any and all things Zoho. Hope you have a great day.